Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praise going on to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Uh, man, this is a video to the brothers, man. Hey, Most High is doing what we desire, what we ask for from the jump. All right, what we've been asking for, seeking for in these last days, the Most High God is delivering these things to His His men. He's comforting, comforting us, you know. Uh, and for the other people, all right, you know, the the two third. Let's uh, get that. Uh, you know, we should be happy at the things that's happening, not fearful, man. We should be happy. We should be holding fast that way we have. You know, uh, let's get that Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. It says, many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. That's right. The wise is going to understand these things that's going on, right? Okay. And we're going to go straight to 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra. Right? So we understand in these last days. First of all, let's get Proverbs. Yeah, man. People who whose words don't line up with Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, okay. The people who uh, still believe in white Christ, you know, white Jesus, and this, that, and the other. You know, the Lord said He's gonna invade with the power of His Christ, right? Okay. So this is Proverbs chapter twenty-eight, verse five: Evil doers, uh, uh, evil doers do not. Salakia, let's go ahead and get King David. This is, this is All right, so it says, uh, Proverbs 28, verse 5, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. So we understand in these last days what's going on. We're not in fear in respect of uh, uh, the same things that the, 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 the heathen, the other people, and the two-thirds are scared of, or the people who behave as the two-thirds. Are scared of. They are fearful because their the the their uh, 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 system which they trust in, which is oppression, the system of oppression that they trust in is falling, man. So yeah, they scared. You know. You know. It says uh, in Jeremiah chapter fifty. Behold, I am against uh, fifty verse thirty one. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. That's right. So that's the so called white man. And those that are profane like Esau and the men of his confederacy. It says, therefore shall, uh, Salaki, it says, I, uh, it says, O thou most proud, save the Lord, uh, uh, God of hosts, for thy day is come. That's right. This is the day. This is that acceptable year, man. This could, you know, it's, it's showing all the signs, man. It's, 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 it's coming to a head. Okay. It says, the time that I will visit thee. So, man. Now we're going to go to uh, uh, Second Ezra. All right. You know, most high guy is moving on our behalf, man. Okay. It says... In 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, he measured, uh, uh, he answered me then and uh, then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. The Most High God told us to watch, said, though it tarry, wait for it. In Habakkuk chapter 2, okay, it says, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he had made. Isn't that what we just read in Jeremiah chapter 50? Okay. Uh, uh, verse 31. It says, Behold, I am against thee, thou most proud, saith the Lord power, uh, the Lord God of hosts. For the day is come, the time that I will visit thee. Okay. That's right. The most high God is, is, is visiting the world which he has made, man. 
Go back to that second Ezra's, man. So we're supposed to be getting happy in this time, man. It says, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same, that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he had made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, man, you got all these nations that, that you have access to see Chile, Venezuela, uh, Colombia, uh, Hong Kong, uh, uh, France, you know, and over there in Paris, the yellow vest, right? All these people protesting against these wicked systems, man. These wicked, the the, the system uh, that the so-called white man ru uh, rules in, man. All right? And the men of his confederacy are ruling. It, these things are happening. We seeing it, man. We're winning, man. You know? We're supposed to be happy in these times, man. It says, therefore, when uh, there's... Uh, this is therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes. There's been earthquakes all in places that you would never would expect, man. You know? Uh, in verse 4, it says, Then shalt thou well understand. Then you should well understand what? That the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So that's right. You know, you, you know when, when you're sharing these things with people, you're going to see that spirit of error. And then that, that spirit of uh you know uh you're gonna see that spirit of error and you're gonna see that uh the spirit of those who follow the word man you know you know you're gonna see those who are of this of this of this truth the men of understanding you know people who have been made to uh see in these last days so let's continue second Ezra chapter uh, chapter nine. So it says, "Then shalt thou well understand that the mo uh, that the Most High spake of these things, spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end." And what does it say? Hey man, let's go ahead and get that as well, man. Let's see what it Oh, it's Falakia. Let's get this. Uh, this is First John chapter four, verse six. It says, "We are of Yahweh. He that knoweth Yahweh heareth us." That's right. So you hear these words, you receive these words, and you, you, you. It, it does something. It make you feel good. You're gonna a lot of these brothers, a lot of you brothers, y'all gonna be calling people who you know y'all usually. You, they can usually fake the funk and you know kind of deal with you in a conversation. Y'all kind of deal. Some of they gonna start. Hey man, they they don't want to hear this stuff because it's it, they're in fear right now. You know. It's a brother that, you know, a hey, it's a brother that has a serious situation that he's, you know, you know, he just had a, a, a came another step in his life. You know, hey, I ain't heard from the brother yet. It's going to be a lot of brothers that just, hey, man, I don't want to deal with it. I don't even want to, you know, I don't want to hear nothing you have to say because now they, they, they probably angry with you, man. You know, they're probably angry because of the fact that we are winning in this time, man. The things that we spoke about. They called us crazy. You know what I mean? Like the brother HOI, you know, uh, very powerful brother, Panamanian brother with the, with the big beard. Strong word that he brought out, man. You know, and Salaki for not, you know, having his name. But the, the brother brought out a phenomenal uh, 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 rebuke to these wicked people that scoffed at us all this time, man. <laughs> and like I always say, man, show, show. All y'all, 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 y'all so successful, so better than us. This, that, and the other. Like the brother was saying, yeah, y'all gonna get a job, such and such and such. Listen, man, show the so-called white man your, 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 uh, your, uh, credit, your credit score. Show the so-called white man that you, 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 you a homo, you're a flaming homosexual, you know, and you agree with this system. Show, show the so-called white man those things and see if you're gonna be all right. Man, you still can't get, you can't move around in this system, okay? We can get that, man. Let's get that. You know, it's Lord about to bring bring to nothing the wisdom of this world, man. Let's get that First Corinthians chapter three, verse nine or eighteen. 
All right. Oh, verse 19. It says, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. And it says, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness, man. <laughs> so the, these riches that you that you building up in Babylon, let's go ahead and tell you about these riches, man. Let's tell you about y'all prudent and wise decisions that y'all made, man, and where it's gonna get you. You know, your sicknesses it can come up on you. You know, your sicknesses came up on you. You seen sicknesses come up on your people prior to this day, and you know. Their credit couldn't save them. Their pension couldn't save them. Their wise decisions couldn't save them. They still sitting up there and they die. You know? You know, so that the wisdom of this world has been made none effect, man. You know? This Luke chapter, uh, let's go to Luke chapter 19. So I can chapter 12. And let's go to verse 14. Let's see. It says, uh, Salakia. Okay, verse 16. It says, And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful, man. Brought forth plentiful. But let's jump down in them. Let's see. Let's get to the point. It says, uh, So, so, it, it, you know, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful, right? And then he says in verse 18, and he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there I will bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my, I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years, right? Very prudent, very wise thing to do. <laughs> Let's see what the most I got. <clears throat> It says, uh, so he said, he says, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, right? Eat, drink, be merry. <laughs> You're supposed to be in the house of mourning, right? Let's get that. You're supposed to be in the house of mourning. You're supposed to be in the house of mourning. It says, it is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2. It is better to go in the house of mourning than to go into in the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. So let's see what the dead did. Let's see what the, the men that be in darkness did. Watch this in, in verse 19 of uh, Luke chapter 12, verse 19. It says, and I will lay, I will say to my soul, soul, Thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Very wise and very prudent, right? It says, take thine ease, eat, drink, be merry. So he want to be happy. He don't want to be in the house of mourning. He said, what is it to be in, in mourning? What is it done for us? What is the profit of us to be in mourning? It says, but Yahweh said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Man, that makes me happy, man. These, This is wisdom. That we see this 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 stuff is coming off of the page, man. Off coming off the screen, coming off the paper, man. You know? That book that was opening opened up to us for us to have this faith is 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 proving itself out, man. Don't get weary, man. Don't get up, you know. Hey, keep pushing, man. Be happy in this time, man. There's gonna be a lot of, you know, people sometimes that's close to you. There's gonna be a lot of they're gonna be trying to tug and pull at you, man, trying to get you to go off. Keep that word, man. Understand that the Most High is moving on our behalf, man. It says, but Yahweh said unto him, thou fool, this night will I require it. Uh, 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 Salakia, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. You see? So now, and let's keep going. And it says in verse 21, so, uh, verse 21, so is he that layeth up treasure for uh, himself and is not rich toward Yahweh. <laughs> hey, what the Bible say? By the truth, you know. You 
You know, we have to buy the truth in these last days. You know, so he was rich towards this world, you know, wisdom of this world, you know, has been brought to be foolishness with Yahweh, man. And he want to be a friend of the world. He wants to be a friend, wants to be a friend of the world. And uh, where does it get you? All these different, so, so show the, show the, uh, show the so-called white man these, all these things that you have done, that how wise you are to his world, how you uh, agree with this system. And uh, how you are at agreement with this system and with hell. You know, and with oppression, you know, you speak uh, folly and madness. You don't, your words don't line up with judgment and, and you don't plead the cause of the poor and needy. You know, those things don't, don't bother you. You know, you try to, you know, Proverbs chapter 20, verse, uh, 23, verse 23, it says, buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. So these are the things that you were supposed to be heaping to yourself. Okay. These are the things that you are supposed to be, uh, 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 you know, uh, heaping to yourself. All right. You know, these are the things you're supposed to be heaping to yourself in these last days. Understanding instruction. Okay. Okay. Because we're understanding it. These are the things that we're going to eat. Up. That's going to be the food that they, uh, you know. That's the food that they know not of. Scripture says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 19, Lay not up for yourselves treasures up on earth where moth and rust doeth corrupt and, and where thieves break through and steal. That's right. You know, everything that you can get in the system, you settled on your leaves. You know what I mean? Because you're going to be punished. You settled up on your leaves. You know, that's not where the wind hits. You're not catching all this oppression, all this hell. And you're not feeling the pressure of this system, man. You know, that's why the people cried out, man, in the, uh, you know, in the times where they needed, uh, when, where Moses was sent uh, and used by Yahweh to deliver us out of, out of the, uh, out of, from the hands of the Egyptians. The people cried out, the people mourned. James chapter four, verse nine, tell you to mourn. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse two tells you what? It's better to be in the house of mourning than in the house of mirth, man. Right. So it says. Uh, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, you know, scripture said, rise, you depart for this is not your rest. Second Ezra chapter uh, eight, verse one. Let's get that real quick. It says, and he answered me saying, the most high hath made this world, 8 verse 1, the most have most, he's answering me and said, answer me saying, the most high hath made this world for many, but the world to come for few. That's right. You know? So in this system of oppression, you know, you know, this is not your rest. The scriptures say, arise in the part for this is not your rest. Rest. The Lord says that we are rich. You know, so us having this word, having the eye salve, understanding they were, we were wretched and naked here in this system of oppression, right? It's going to make you watch out for a lot of things. It's going to help you flee a lot of uh, uh, pitfalls. It could make you flee. But if you see our people fall victim to these things every day because they don't have understanding what type of world that we live in, man. They don't have the understanding on what it is that we are to be doing in these last days and why the law, statutes, commandments are important, you know, and the ordinances are, are very important in these last days. All right. Because they, they, they're trying to store riches in, in this earth. You know, they look at the uh, prosperity of the wicked, the prosperity of uh, and they envy the prosperity uh, of the wicked, you know, and become like beasts, man. OK. Uh, pursuant to uh, Psalms chapter uh, 73. All right. So Matthew chapter six, verse 19. Again, it says, lay up not 
So lay not up for yourselves treasures up on earth where moth and uh, and rust do it corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. So-called white man, hey, <laughs> he steals everything that, you know, everything that, that we have. You know, the so-called white man heaps it to himself like a, you know, he doesn't even leave a few grapes behind, man. He takes everything that we can, uh, uh, you know, have for ourselves and he is still it from, you know, you, you can die, you know, from these sicknesses. You know, you can work very hard for all the things you have, but this system where the so-called white man rules and his ways are very grievous, you know, okay, his ways are very grievous, man, and his ways are, 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 are full of mischief, man. So you're going to be stressing out, catching all these plagues of, uh, of Egypt, these sicknesses, okay, and what ends up happening. You end up leaving those things that you held so important to somebody who never worked for them or nobody who understood how much effort you had to put into getting the things that you had, right? And that's vanity and vexation, man, right? It's emptiness. So that's why the scriptures say in Luke uh, chapter 12, verse 21, it was better to uh, build riches with Yahweh, man. Be rich unto the, the Lord. Proverbs 23, 23 says what? Buy the truth and sell it not, right? It says in verse 20 of uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, okay, where neither moth nor rust do it corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. That's right. That's why the words that our people speak don't line up with thus said the Lord. That's why the words don't line up with the judgment of the Most High God, right? Let's go to uh, Jeremiah. <clears throat> chapter 8 all right it says yeah uh jeremiah chapter 8 verse 7 it says yeah the stork in the heaven knoweth her appointed times and the turtle and the cramp in the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming all praises to the most high god man he gave us understanding in these last days and then now it's it's coming off the paper man you know, you know, I've been in the truth for, you know, what, a year? And this, so this is very, very, you know, this is amazing to see these things, man. I remember being at work and be like, man, take away the pride of these. I said, these people walking on this land that they killed millions of our brothers and sisters, man, of our ancestors, right? I said, Lord, take away this this proud look that's a specific why i asked the most high god and look at what he's doing right look at what he's doing and some because we're eating in these last days it says yeah the stork in the heaven knoweth her appointed times and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming but my people know not the judgment of the lord so you're supposed to know the judgment of the lord in these last days right but you don't because you're so busy trying to build a resting place here in Babylon, man. Right? You're trying to build a resting place in Babylon, man. All right? That's the last thing you want to do, right? So let's go, uh, Jeremiah. Uh, chapter, uh, I mean, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 31. Let's go back there. It said, the Lord... It says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord, God of hosts, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise, raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. It says, thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together and all them, it says, and all that took them captives, held them fast. They refused to let them go. That's right. And, and, and you know what? A lot of these wicked ass women, <laughs> you know, they, they've been given some uh, measure of, of, of strength over, 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 you know, you know, the man here in the system, you know. And, uh, you know, the most high God, let's, let's actually, let's just go ahead and read. So it says 
in verse 12, uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee do cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy past. That's right. You know, your woman try to, you know, uh, get you into this where you listening to her. You're following what she's telling you, you know. When brothers come into this truth, they get they 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 become men, men of understanding, right? And then your your woman, she's still in that folly, she's not gonna follow you into that, into this uh walk, you know, fully. You know, Lord willing, they they do it, but you know, sometimes it just don't go like that for certain brothers. So, you know, they trying to hold fast. They trying to hold. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to let that. You know, they want to still exercise that strength over you. You know, woman gonna have to give away a lot of power. She gonna come into this truth. You know, but all these women that scoff at us, like the brother was saying at HOI. You know, uh, you know, a lot of these people they 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 scoffing at us these women specifically that scoff at this truth they always defending the uh defending the wicked you know defending the proud right they always defending the proud and the wicked you know uh Let's go to Proverbs 17 and uh 17 and 15. It says, He that justifieth the wicked and, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord, man. And that's what our women, a lot of our women do, you know. They they when they sit there and speak against us, they their stout words are against us, you know, when it's true, and they find every reason to go astray from following this truth. Then they're defending the so-called white man and his system. That means that they're in agreement with this system of oppression. You know what I mean? You know, you know, like that's what it is, man. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts. You know, where you sitting up there having that little bit of, you know, uh, doubt. Well, you can let in so much, so much wickedness, man. You know, so many things that can defile you. You know, and that's what our and that's what our our uh, women are are, are doing. They agree with some things, but not this, that, and the no. Listen, you are supposed to be in order. You supposed to it's the man, then the woman. All right, it's Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man, woman. Right? They don't want that. And now that it's coming to pass, this 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 truth is coming. You know, you're gonna still have some that are stuck, man. They're stuck in it. In it, it you know, you know. Let's see, Isaiah chapter three. Um, verse five, it says, and, and the people shall be oppressed, everyone by uh, everyone by another, and everyone by his neighbor, you know, and the child shall behave himself pr uh, proudly against the ancient and the based against the honorable. That's right. You know, that's the way that our, our women, <laughs> you know, they coming out of that order. That's why our kids oppress us too. You know, a lot of kids are raised by just women. You know what I mean? You know, they don't, they speak against, you know, brothers that, you know, brothers that understand how to move in this system, you know, you know, with this truth being the, the chiefest uh, uh, example of that, you know, with us having this truth and they, you know, they, these kids don't want to listen to us, you know, they act like we don't, yo, y'all ain't got no money. Well, look, now what you going to do? All that striving, you know what I mean? All that, all that, you know, that, that James chapter four, you know, verse one, all that, you know, you striving to have this, that, and the other, and you ain't got nothing. And you not, you still ain't got nothing, you know, you know, but this is how our women, that's what happens when our women are controlling, you know, the children or we're controlling the household rather, you know, uh, so yeah, that's how we are. We don't want to, we don't want to turn from those things, man. It says in verse nine, the show of their countenance do it do it witness against them, and they declare their sin as as Sodom. That's right. They don't care about the things that they do. These women, they don't care. You know, yeah, I do what I want to do. This, that, and the other, and they taunt you. They want you to to go off. They want you to, uh, 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 uh you know, get you into a position. But now the Lord has given us so much confidence, man. 
you know, before he was giving us confidence, but man, now more than ever, so much more you see the day approaching, you're supposed to do more. So what do you, you know, when you start seeing these blessings, man, you're supposed to get happy. You're supposed to get, be ready, man. That's why you got brothers ready for this uh, uh, April of uh, 1st and